Hey beautiful people, welcome to this channel, it's TMC here again. If you're just viewing for the first time, maybe you just stumbled on this video from somewhere. The right thing for you to do right now, just click on the subscribe button. Before you leave this video, just click on it and give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you have not yet subscribed. So back to what I was saying. Today, I'm going to do a walk with me because adulting is not easy. Anybody that says adulting is easy, they are lying to you. Because so much has been going on and I feel like today, this is the best video I can release. Like... You guys are going to enjoy it, trust me. But anyways, um, I'm just going to be going to a few places and I want you guys to come along with me in this video and um, show you guys some few places in Paris. Maybe for someone out there, you wish to come to Paris very soon or move to France. I just want to show you some places, I mean, that can be very interesting for you to visit anytime you are in Paris. So, um, I hope you stay tuned to this video and watch to the end. Hey guys, so I'm out. I'm actually going to meet up with a friend um somewhere around the city center so i'll catch you guys up when i get there so see you guys later Female. so i was thinking to give you guys like a gist as i'm walking down so what do you guys think about this whole thing that has to do with like looking for a job like how do you guys deal with recruiters like if you're watching this video and you've ever applied for a job have you gotten ghosted before because i've gotten ghosted like there was one job that i applied for and literally i went for the interview i literally traveled for that interview actually and it was like a two hours journey i traveled to the interview and i did it normally the right thing for an HR is to do whenever you apply to a job and you come for the interview. After the interview, I sent my thank you for having me in this interview and all. I sent it to them and they said they were going to get back to me in the following week. But guys, can you imagine that? After that week, I did not receive a reply. Normally, they are going to reject you, accept you. Even if you are going to reject me, at least. You still say okay well, thank you for your interest in our company and blah 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 but we are sorry we found another candidate nothing like that guys nothing and it's so annoying and and i'm like i actually have i don't know if you guys have gone through the same thing but please let me know in the comment section if you have actually gone through that like ghosting by hr people and stuff you guys should let me know in the comments because you know even when i finally got the job i was looking for later i literally i need i need to cross the road so when i finally got the internship i was looking for in my field i literally thought that one day i would sit down and write mail for these people and ask them for the reason why they've not replied to my to like reply to my request for a job and stuff but anyways, I didn't do it. So that's just one thing that I don't know if it's weird, but I don't know if you guys are going through it. Let me know in the comments. So, yeah. Just look at that. Guys, can you see this Eiffel Tower from this view? Let me just go somewhere like in front so that you can see it better from a clearer view. So, since I'm at the Eiffel Tower, I felt like it's going to be useful to tell you guys the origin Is it origin or origin? The origin and construction of the Eiffel Tower My friend just gave me this short stuff, so let me just read it out to you guys It was at the 1889 Exposition Universelle The date that marked the 100th anniversary of the French Revolution That a great competition was launched in the Journal Officiel the first digging work started on the 26th of January, 1887. On the 31st of March, 1889, the tower had been finished in record time. Two years, two months, and five days. Two years, two months, and five days. And was established as a veritable technical feat. 
So that's the origin and construction of the Eiffel Tower. So um, another quick one about the tower is that they plan to build a tower 300 meters high. So this thing right here is 300 meters high. Can you guys see it? And it was conceived as part of preparations for the World's Fair of 1889. So if you guys want to know more about the World's Fair, it's, it's now you can check Google and search for it. So um, feel free to check online on Google for more information about the Eiffel Tower. Take me to the river, take me to the river, take me to the river, boy, take me to the river, take me to the river. Let's get the song finished now. Where are you going? <laughs> to the river. Yeah, I'm going to the front of it. Hey. Oh boy, take me to the river, boy. Man is hungry, so what's wrong with him? Like, why is she thinking of Man is hungry, so we gotta eat. We gotta eat. Let them bring this food up for somebody to I can see. Hey guys, so we just left the restaurant and we are on our way to Chateau de Versailles and we are just like in the next bus and this bus is going to leave in the next 6 minutes and uh, when I get there, I'll show you guys and let you guys know was the king of France in the um, 1970s so this is a statue that was made in his name this place just actually brings back memories of my days in Unilag as a French student where I learned a lot about French literature in the 17th century and this Chateau de Versailles is a representation of the whole history of France during the classic period that's in the 1970s. So I'm going to be touring around. They have so many rooms where the queen of, is it the queen of the king or the wife of the king was living? There's so many rooms in there. Like if you see those buildings down there, there are so many rooms inside, but I don't know if they are going to let us in because of COVID. Um, so that's just it basically. And the area is really, really large. So I'm going to walk inside and go to the, 
main space where you can see how the big garden like where the kings used to live in so yeah let's go the so this is the plan for the whole chateau de versailles i'm going to show you guys around Can enjoy some work of art. Now we are going to go down there. Can you see that place? It's really far. Like I don't know because I'm just from a distance. Can you see that sculpture right there? We are going there now. I'm going to walk all the way. I have to take this way, go down there, and just walk all the way through that um straight road there to the other side so see you guys at the other side this place is really big you know where i've been walking from i've been walking from that back place and i'm still walking and it's too far. <laughs> See you guys in front. Too. So we are here. Look at the horses. I hope you guys enjoy touring with me around. Um, to the places I went to today, that's Eiffel Tower and the Chateau de Versailles. So, if you have not subscribed to this channel, please do well to click on the subscribe button below and subscribe to this channel. And then, don't forget to give a, give a thumbs up to this video and also share it to your friends, share it to everyone you feel this video is gonna be useful too. Thank you guys for always watching my video, and I will see you in the next one. Bye, guys.